and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. All right, we have two more caves left in the uh, perplexing pool, so let's go take care of them right now. I think today... Hmm. I think we're going to go to the kitchen today. I think I've had enough water for a bit, so uh, let's go deal with some fire instead. Okay, so perplexing pool. For this one, I believe... Actually, what would be the fastest way there? I guess through here. Anyways, for this one, I believe it's mostly electricity and fire. So, I don't think we're going to need any blue Pikmin for this one. So, let me see here. Let's bring, like, 30 yellows. I also want some uh, purples and whites. Because I don't remember if there's any buried treasure here. I might as well bring, like, 10 whites for now. Just in case of buried treasure. Let's bring, like, I don't know, 20-ish purples. Alright, how many Pikmin is that? That is... 60. Alright, I guess the rest will just bring reds. Okay, I think this army should be good. I don't need any blues from what I remember. There's no water in this dungeon. Cave. There's no water in this cave, so I think we are good. Oh, wait. Who's left behind? There we go. Seriously, every time I hear that sound, I think someone is dying. But no. That, I think that's just their battle cry. Alright, let's try to get over there without losing... You know what? I'm gonna take care of you before you become an issue. Okay, now let's head over there. I really hope I brought the right Pikmin mix, by the way. Because, uh, like I said, I am pretty sure that this dungeon is the one with no water in it. If I get screwed over and I realize I do need blue Pikmin, honestly, I'd probably just re-record the episode. Uh, yep, this is the right one. Let's go. Only electricity, technically, but I still want the other types of Pikmin just in case. Because reds are just a good, uh... General foot soldier. Purples are just good in general, and whites are just in case there's buried treasure. This is also going to be a bit of a longer one compared to the last one. The submerged castle is weirdly short for what it is. Where's my purples? Just want to get rid of them before they become an issue. Okay, so I see the exit already. Where is... Where are the treasures here? There's apparently one... Wait, hold on a minute. There's one over here somewhere. Oh, oh, I see it now. It's the... Uh... That Mario Chapstick, which, like I said, I'm pretty sure that he's actually Chapstick in the original. So, uh, go ahead and pick that one up. I guess I'll bring back the, um, bodies as well for now. Just to get them out of the way so my Pikmin won't automatically try to cling onto them. Is that seriously the only treasure in the area? That doesn't seem right. Oh, wait, I think that's, wait, I think that's actually a crayon, isn't it? I thought it was chapstick, okay? I thought the little red part on top was like, um, was like the cap. It's only worth 30. Okay, this is definitely, I want to say probably Crayola. Oh, no, I'm actually looking at it right now. Apparently that was just always a Mario Brothers, uh, thing. Okay, apparently that was also the only treasure on this floor. That's a weird start. Oh yeah, speaking of like crayons and chalk, I guess we are in a weird... Where are we, by the way? This place is called a kitchen, but we are definitely like in a children's playroom, right? But yeah, I... I guess that was always a Mario one, unless this list I'm looking at is wrong. 
Which is entirely possible. Alright, what do we- Oh, no. Bread bugs. Okay, you know what? No, this is fine. This is why I brought purple Pikmin. Bread bugs are really annoying. Hold on. Can I get over there? Okay, so what they do is basically they are freaking thieves. We need to take care of them before they start stealing my treasure. Fortunately... Hold on. There we go. Fortunately, throwing purple Pikmin at them does stun them. And then otherwise, we just need to keep throwing Pikmin on top until they die. There we go. But yeah, honestly, they're not much of a threat. They're just super annoying. I don't think... Oh god, hold on. That's an actual threat. Wait, is that thing dead? No, for some reason, they did not want to get the final hit. But yeah, these guys... Yep, that's what they're gonna do. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we can't permanently lose treasure to them. I might be wrong. I might just be thinking of later games. Fortunately, they do have another weakness. Uh, they have limited strength. So we can't technically overpower that. Hold on. Someone take care of that. We can't technically overpower them by basically just, uh, pulling hard enough, which is also another reason I brought Purple Pikmin. Anyways. Wait a second. Oh, I think it already grabbed one of the treasures. Okay, um, hmm. Hold on a sec, let me just see if I can remember how this actually works in Pikmin 2. Do we have to kill the bread bug to get it back? Because, yeah, I definitely took a treasure there. Hold on a second. Hmm. Yeah, I need to remember how this actually works. Here, let's uh, take a look around for the rest of the area. Is that the only treasure left? No treasures over here. Wait, that's seriously the only treasure on the... What is it with this dungeon only having, like, a, a handful of treasures? Also, why is that thing not dead yet? There we go. Oh, hold on a second. One clear. Oh my god, that actually hit me. Oh wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh, hello there. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Breadbug? If I defeat you, do I get my treasure back? Uh, that should be the last hit, right? Yep, there we go. Okay, thank god. I couldn't remember if it was permanently missable. I'm pretty sure none of the treasures in this game are permanently missable. Or I would have to restart the cave. Is that the only treasure, though? I guess so. Man, for a kitchen, there's not very much down here. I do think they have a maximum uh, carrying capacity of 10 or something. 
So it is possible to basically overpower them with just like a purple Pikmin and like one or two purple Pikmin. Okay. But yeah, bread bugs, annoying but not much of a threat. I don't actually know if they can even damage me at all. They're basically here just to be annoying. Another cinnamon roll? No, not cinnamon roll. Uh, uh, what are these things called? I know... I'm pretty sure the spiral cookies have a specific name. Oh, no, there's still more treasure here. What? Am I dumb? Wait a second. There's one more treasure somewhere around. Oh, I'm dumb. It's right there. Okay, to be fair, that one blends into the environment really well. Like, it's the perfect color, kind of. Alright, well, whatever. Let's, uh, get that back to the ship. What was this originally? Ginger Ale. Was it? I don't know if it would be Canada Dry. I don't know if they make, like glass bottled versions with the cap and everything. What are you? You are worth a hundred, so that's not bad. The happiness emblem. What is the happiness emblem? Oh, it was a... Wait. A frisk... A squirt bottle cap, okay. A squirt bottle cap in the uh, US version. Alright. Anyways, that's all the treasure, let's move on. Also, apparently it was worth more in the US version for some reason. That's weird. All right, what do we got here? I see electricity immediately, ooh. Okay, this might be a bit dangerous, hold on. Let's uh just have our yellows do this part for now. Oh, there's also a candy bu uh, bud right here if I need it. Fortunately, there's no dangers in the area that my yellows aren't immune to. So I'm not too worried about that. Oh, I am a little bit worried about losing my flower status. There we go. Alright, let's start clearing these this area out. I'm not too worried, like I said, about the bread bugs. Because, like I've also said, I don't think they can actually do damage. These guys, though, can be kind of dangerous. I could theoretically take care of them with purples as well. I just don't want them to get caught in the electricity, because electricity is an insta-kill in this game. It's not fire or poison. Or water. Actually, is electricity the only insta-kill? Like, I guess also getting crushed. But no Pikmin in this game is immune to getting crushed. But yeah, I think electricity is the only, like, stage hazard that is 100% fatal. Uh, speaking of being 100% fatal, these clothes, yep. Because every other hazard, drowning, fire, poison, you can just whistle to the Pikmin and they'll come back. Or you can uh, rescue them. In this way, hold on a second, I see you trying to do that. What do you think you're trying to do? Give me that back. <laughs> hold on a second. If I can get it back to the ship, that's another way of stunning them, basically. We just need to drag them back to the ship and steal their treasure back from them. Also, what the heck is this thing? 
Wait, what the? Oh, it's a... Oh, what are those instruments called? A cast net? But yeah, if you drag them back to the ship, they actually take a bunch of damage as well. Hold on a second. Just, uh, grab that back for me, thank you. How did you... How the heck did you get outside the arena? Uh, hurry up and kill that thing before it starts going off again. Wait, hold on a second. How do you get back? There's a way back, right? I mean, I can also just leave the stage. Okay, no, they can just straight up walk over the ledge. Alright, that's good. I don't have to take care of this thing, I just want to. Oh, thank god. I was kind of worried they would get stuck out there. Wait, hold on. Okay, that's a little morbid. I didn't think it would be dragging back- oh, this is a treasure, isn't it? No, it's not, actually. I don't think I've seen them drag back the body of their, uh, fellow bread bug before. That is a little bit on the morbid side. There we go. Also, did you steal any other treasures? Uh, no. Nothing else. Hold on. I'm gonna play the super safe. Unlike the last game, we are not on a time limit on this one. So, there's no da- There's very little danger of things dropping down from the sky and destroying my Pikmin when I'm not looking. The danger is low, but it's never zero in this game. I have been screwed over by random bomb rocks falling from the sky too many times. And by too many times, I mean more than once. Because once it should be more than enough. Okay, where's the last treasure, though? Oh, wait, I see it. Wait. It seems safe. Alright, is that the last treasure? Seriously, some of these items definitely look like they should be treasures, right? Like, this freaking uh, maracas right here. They- it looks like treasure. But it's not, right? No, it's not. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get that body over there. Eh, that's fine. Like I said, enemy bodies are not really a concern anymore. So I'm not gonna go out of my way to grab that. Uh, let me just do a quick sweep. Yeah, the treasure radar's not going off anymore, so I think those are the only two. Okay, I could have sworn this dungeon or this cave had a lot more treasures than this. Maybe it's just really long. Anyways, what do we got here? We got a broken compass. Yep, that's everything. Let's go. Try not to hurt yourself on the glass there, Olimar. That would probably be bad. Alright, let's see what's around here. Other than more- you know what, I'm taking care of you before you come an issue.
It is kind of weird my Pikmin won't grab onto it, though. I don't know. Pikmin keeping up. Ooh. That's, uh... That's gonna be dangerous. Hold on a second. Oh god, they can go over the walls. I was not expecting them to be going over the walls like that. Oh, I lost, uh... I lost more Pikmin than I was hoping for there. Oh, where'd you guys get that? Oh, it probably spat out, duh. Uh, natural water. What the heck are you? The massive lid is... A Yuhu Cola cap. Okay. I haven't had Yuhu for so long. Man, how many purples did I lose from that? I did not expect it to be able to go over the walls like that. I thought I, w I wanted to try to go around. Okay, I only lost three. I was going to try to go around and try to get it from behind, but no. It just went straight over the low walls. What's the point of having walls if enemies can just walk over them? Anyways, uh... What was I saying? Right. Did you steal anything? Honestly, I think the easiest way to deal with you is just to let you grab something. And then just pull you back to the ship. But this also works. Alright, did you steal anything? No. That's treasure, right? Yeah. Alright, what else is on the floor? But yeah, note to self. Unless the walls are higher than Olimar, uh, enemies can just walk over them. I also think I used the Panic Bitter Spray and I missed... I only got the little ones and I missed the big one. Oh, hi there. No. I learned my lesson. I'm not letting you do that again. I'm beginning to wonder if I even need White Pikmin at this point. It seems like none of the treasures we've been finding so far are buried. An invigorator, 130 pokos, not bad. Okay, no, there is still something else on the floor. Where is it? This is also not a cave with Bulbman, unfortunately, so no replenishing my stocks. Wait. Oh, I see it. It's another one of those chocolates. Oh, do I have enough yellows left? I should, right? Oh yeah, I have more than enough yellows left. For this one, at least. It, oh, it's one of the white chocolate ones. I don't know. I do kind of like white chocolate. Like, I kind of have to be in a little bit of a mood for white chocolate, but I don't really mind it, honestly. Overall, I am pretty good on white chocolate. Also, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, bitter, or of uh, dark chocolate. I'm just not a big bitter guy. I like my chocolate sweet. Is that the last one? Yep, let's go. Alright, that floor could have gone better. I need to remember to actually clear out the floors before going for the treasures. Alright, what do we got here? Oh yeah, since uh, I think I mentioned it last time, but everything's a lot bright. Oh, that scared me. Okay, well, we, if we need more any Pikmin there, uh, we can get them. Oh, I know what this floor is. Yep, it's this floor. Where are my purples?
Take care of you and throw you an issue. I'm not even going to risk it. This thing has destroyed my Pikmin group before just from a random uh, boulder. I can grind more Bitter Spray. And I'm pretty sure I don't actually need Bitter Spray for the boss of this dungeon either. Ah, it's another one. Why aren't you coming? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, random cardboard tree. Oh! Welp. This is fine. That was me being very careless. Darn it. Okay. Uh... How are my Pikmin looking right now? I lost five. Okay, I think we're still okay. I might need to get some more yellows at some point. Fortunately, the reds here are just kind of filler. So I'm okay with... Mm, that was a lot of Pikmin I lost right there, though. That was completely due to me. I thought I was still safe behind the tree, but I guess not. Get off that. Okay, um, I do want more purples, though. Like I said, reds aren't here for no reason other than filler. I think we're still good, though. Ah, I'm considering maybe turning some of the reds into yellows just to be safe. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think we're good. We're back up to 70. Oh, the honey also landed in there. That's annoying. Hold on. I don't like it when the honey lands in an area I have to throw them at. It's a lot easier to swarm, I found, just because it's a little bit more reliable. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. I just remembered. I can do that now. Okay, I want my purples more than anything to be flowers so they can keep up. Alright, so now that we know that was a bad idea, let's be a little bit more careful here. I feel like there's one so hiding somewhere around here. Also, I wasted another bitter spray on... We're fine. We wasted another bitter spray on that because I thought we could maybe hit it, but I guess not. Anyways, it's party time. I'm pretty sure that's a party. Oh! Oh! Every time something falls in the sky. Because every other dungeon except for, or cave except for this one, it's always been death. This is the one time where it has not every single time ended up with my Pikmin all dying. Is this treasure? I can't actually tell anymore. Yes, yes it is. Wait. I don't trust that dirt patch. Nothing's gonna pop out at me, right? Seems safe. Go ahead and bring that back. No, 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 no! Get away from there, get away from there! Okay, this is fine. We'll take care of this guy. I knew there was someone hiding around here somewhere. Okay, we have a small group. That's fine. That's actually better. Nope, get over here. Ah, I think this is one of the few enemies that can't get stunned either. Okay, it's fine. We didn't lose any Pikmin there, I think. Okay, no, we're good. Alright, is that all of it? Please tell me that's all of it. I don't want to stay here any longer if I don't have to. Also, where's the exit? Wait, where is the exit? 
Oh, is there a Pikmin over here? Hey, it's just a purple. It'll be fine. Wait, hold on a minute. How do I leave? Oh, there it is. It just didn't get marked on the map. Man, I remember these antenna too. Like when I was a kid, all the TVs had to have these antennas and they never worked properly. Or if they did work, it was like the picture was always really terrible. Also, that is definitely worth more than 150. I still remember when like they had everyone had to switch over to like a uh, uh not cable. The non antenna, I don't know how to describe it, but basically they phased out antennas for like local television. I still remember seeing commercials about that, like telling everyone they had to transition. <laughs> That one white Pikmin. They had to transition away from antennas. Although by that point we already had like cable, so wasn't that big of a deal for us. How are we? Okay, this dungeon's a lot shorter than I remember. Oh god. Red bugs. So yes. These are hold on a second. You know what? I'm not gonna deal with you right now. There. It's an eraser, apparently. But yeah, that's the boss of the dungeon. A giant bread bug. It is just as threatening as the normal bread bugs. Okay, hold on a second. Where are my yellows? I'm gonna take care of these other uh, bread bugs real quick. Oh, all my purples got stuck on the eraser. Okay, these I definitely remember as a kid because we would always get these erasers and just kind of keep them throughout the year. Also, half the time we just lost them halfway through the year anyways, but, but they would always get super short, like just like this one. Oh, are we immune to electricity now? Yep, I think we are now ele uh, immune to electricity. Nice. I could have sworn we were always immune to electricity, but I guess not. Okay. Well, that's handy. Ah, uh, can we get it in time? Ah, uh, no. Oh no, you also ate half my Pikmin because of that. Darn it. I forgot that's also what happens. It's fine, I think it was just yellows. Here, I'm gonna take care of you before we have an issue. Oh, I forgot about that. I've never actually had that happen before is the thing. And all of that for what looks like- oh god, it's jiggling. For- I'm thinking it's- I think it's still a fried egg, didn't it? You know what, I'll deal with you later. Oh, I did lose. Ah, I lost a lot of yellows because of that. Some okay, this is kind of weird. I think this dungeon has had a higher body count than um the submerged castle somehow, and I don't know how that happened. Also, one minute. Everyone, I need your help. How did I miss every single one of those? Oh, that was enough damage. Nice. Ugh. I don't know if I wanted... That egg is way too solid.
Like, I don't know if I would want to eat an egg that, if you throw it, it just stays solid like a plate. Where's Olimar, by the way? Let's take this back, shall we? Also, are we immune to electricity immediately? I guess we'll find out later, because, uh, this is the last beetle, I think, right? Okay, now it's still a little jiggly. I guess it's still kind of nice. Alright, that's all the treasures, apparently. Huh. Something tells me the game wanted me to do this dungeon, or this cave, earlier in the game. So far, all the pigment losses I got in this one were from two instances. And both of them were my fault, so... You know what? I'm not gonna blame the game for it. I'm just gonna crack this open and get out of here. Yeah, that's all the treasure, so, uh, you guys stay here. Let's go. How did I lose 45 Pikmin and I have definitely- this is the most deadly cave so far. I lost more here than the submerged castle, I think. Actually, no, I think they're about the same. I don't remember the exact count. Okay. But hey, we uh, finished the cave this time in a pretty good amount of time, too. There's still one more cave left, though. I'm not doing that today. But before we head to the shower room... Let me take a quick stock of my Pikmin. Okay, I lost some purples there. That's fine. Uh, I'll go back and grind more. Same with the white Pikmin. Yellows, we lost some... I didn't bring any blues. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I... Wait. I broke even on purples. Okay. That's, uh, weird. Lost quite a few reds, though, so let's get a few back. Also, I'm gonna take a quick second to go... Actually, you know what? Give me a bunch of red Pikmin. I'm gonna go clear out some stuff, uh, in preparation for tomorrow. First things first, I need more bitter spray. I used way too much of it in that dungeon. This is the bitter plant, right? Please face me, thank you. Yeah, this is a bitter plant, perfect. No, not in the water. All right, we'll have you guys take care of that. I'm hoping to get at least maybe mm, two bitter sprays should be good. I can always get a few more later. All right, while you're taking care of that, let's have another group of reds uh, come with me. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. This needs your way to do this. Have the present stay here for a bit. Or not, I'll have Olimar stay here for a bit. Olimar, you're in charge of berry production. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go clear out the enemies over here. There we go. Because the shower room is, like, right over there, and I want a clear shot of it tomorrow, where I don't, like, lose Pikmin to just random enemies, like this guy. Also, did I lose Pikmin? Wait, how am I losing Pikmin? 
Something's wrong. Did they get- I guess they got crushed and I didn't see the ghosts? Oh, right. Whistle Harvest Pikmin now. I forgot about that. Uh... Yeah, I guess I lost them from... The Poliwog? Okay, no, I'm genuinely confused. Where the heck did my Pikmin go? Because, yeah, I didn't see them get crushed. They must have. And I guess the, like, spirits didn't pop up. Oh, they fell in the water, didn't they? They probably fell in the water. Never mind. Alright, let's keep getting some sprays. Where did Olimar go? Oh, wait, I moved him, right. I... Okay, I really wish I could turn off some power-ups. I wanted to leave those in the ground to, to grow into flowers. Oh, well. Um... Is there any honey around here I can use instead, then? Because I have a lot of leaf Pikmin now. Hold on, let me go take a quick look for some honey, then. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, leaves. Let's get you guys powered up a bit. Okay, uh, we still have a leaf Pikmin even after all that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, how are we doing in terms of berries? We have two sprays now. I think we have enough time to get one more, maybe? Just need to wait for them to finish growing. Yeah, I think we'll have time for one more. But with that, actually, I think... Uh, do I don't want to wait for it. You know what? We might as well just see if we can grab one more, because... Uh, where are my berries? How are my berries looking? I need five more for one more bitter spray. Oh, yeah, if we're going to end the day, too, I should probably make sure I have everyone with me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grind bear spray on my own time, just so that we don't waste the episode time on that. So I think we're going to wrap things up here, then. Before we do that, though, is everyone here? Wait, one second, they're getting stuck. It really is like Pikmin 1 all over again. Okay, let's wrap up the day, then. I'll get more bitter spray probably tomorrow or something. But hey, not a... It could have been a worse run of the kitchen area. But hey, we got all the treasures, and overall, we did pretty well in there. Okay, that... That cave was way more valuable than the submerged castle. What the heck? Yeah, literally perfectly even on purples there. Hey, we made a net positive in terms of the number of Pikmin, though. So that's good. Of course, I got spit. How did we get spam in space? Who, who is contacting us on another planet? Just to try to scam us out of whatever the heck they were scamming. All right, but with that, I think we're going to wrap things up here then. So next time I'm going to play Pikmin 2, we're going to finish up this area and then finally head over to the Wistful Wild. So till then. <laughs>